How's it going, everyone? We're here to check out Easter. And, uh, yeah, once again, Easter has come around, and, uh, this year it's, uh, in March, uh, which is weird. But, hey, we've got at least a week or two of Easter event on the servers. I'm pretty sure that the event will run until the end of the month with the next wipe on the 4th. So, uh, yeah, you have that going on for you, and with that, there are some returning and a new Easter item. If you want to check them out in detail, I do have the video for the skins. But if we just go ahead and take a look, see here, we can check them out right now, real quick. And uh, yeah, there is the chicken head, which has the little moving googly eyes. Then you've got the, well, the chicken hat is actually the nest hat, I should say. Then you've got the bunny hat. Then the return of the egg suit, which, if you remember, you can paint it. So, you know, you can draw whatever on it, and if you hit save, it will show up there for you. So you can have fun with that. And then our newest thing is going to be the chicken suit. It comes in three variations. Depending on when you craft it, uh, it'll just randomly make one or the other. It, it doesn't really have a, a way to pick which one it is but you've got this kind of friendly looking version you've got the angry looking chicken and then you've got this like super cool uh i'm a uh, summer chicken ready to go sunbathing kind of thing and it's just this hilarious chicken suit that's just absolutely great and when you run around it makes squeaky noises and the head bobs back and forth so yeah you, you want to go ahead and check those out you, you can whoops uh you can check them out in the skin video in a little more detail and so forth i show how to craft them etc so there that is but with everything that is going on with the easter event let's check it out so you'll be walking around on a server and then all of a sudden you will hear that and on your screen it will say Easter egg hunt starting in and give you a countdown when this happens you want to get an Easter basket and if you have a costume that has egg vision on it you want to grab that but you might not have all that to start out so what you want to do is start running around and look for little glowing Easter eggs and you have to hold E to pick them up now if you actually have the basket you don't have to hold e you can just click and click and click and click and the more you pick up the more people picking up in the same area and the more people that have egg vision the further out you'll be able to see the sparkles with the egg vision and also the more will start to spawn with the more people around so if you can kind of do a thing where you go in a circle this will kind of optimize the amount of stuff so you kind of go out oh okay this is the furthest it does seem to put them the direction you are facing so that's how you can kind of aim them and you basically just want to pick up as many as you can before the timer runs out and the first three places will get prizes of bonus eggs and so what's what's with these eggs what can you do with them well if you do right click you can actually aim and throw them at people if you have to as a last ditch effort to defend yourself but that does use the eggs up and what you really want them for is to combine them into prizes so i have these three barrels set up and each one's going to show how the prizes are what they are how they work so once you've had 10 eggs you can hit upgrade and as you see it gave me a bronze egg so within a bronze egg you have a chance of getting some random material scraps a bow with some arrows and then this is where you can get your egg basket and your bunny ears and the bunny ears are going to give you plus one egg vision just like these other hats do and so forth but that can stack with certain things like for instance you can stack it with the bunny onesie that you can get in the next egg or you could stack it with say the chicken costume for a plus two so those are kind of nice options now the egg suit you can't wear a head thing with so that is only plus one that is the downside kind of considering right there so in addition to that you can also get some chocolate so moving on to our silver eggs a silver egg is going to be 10 bronze eggs once you have your silver egg you can get 2500 stone a jackhammer or a chainsaw with some fuel 
these various weapons with ammo or the bunny onesie. So this is gonna be the silver egg is where you get your bunny onesie. Also, if you hear that noise, that means you're coming down to your last 20 seconds of the event. And then lastly, 10 silver eggs are gonna get you a golden egg. A golden egg, just to give you an idea, is a thousand of these little eggs. Just to give you an idea of how many eggs that ends up being. With a gold egg... Oh, and as you'll see here, uh, I also got uh, top place because I was the only person doing the thing. So as you can see, it gave me two silver eggs. And that is the reward that you get for first place. So with the gold eggs, you get some pretty awesome stuff here. Uh, you can get a ammo of like supply of rockets where you get five incense, three HVs and two MRS or these various guns with ammo or an empty grenade launcher. Unfortunately, you do not get any ammo with it, but eh, that is kind of fair. I guess they could put some shotgun rounds in there, but I feel like most people don't really use them anyways. So that is how the egg hunt works. It's very basic, but you can get some really fun stuff and stack up on some awesome weapons. I mean, if you really save it up, I mean, some people don't ever get to use an M249 and stuff like that. So this is your chance. They'll be flying around everywhere because of the Easter event. So that pretty much just covers the Easter event for it. Uh, there's not really a whole ton extra to it, but uh, yeah, that will do it. I do have a few other things to show you. We do have an update to Harbor that I missed with my last video. It literally updated like later the same day. So we'll go ahead and check that out and uh, that'll be it. All right, so we're over here at Harbor and the first thing you will notice when you look at the map, it looks very different. It's actually bisected in half now, so to say. And that's because cargo comes through and stops inside of the Harbor now. So that's going to add a lot of different opportunities and so forth. Now, uh, we don't know exactly how everything's going to work, but it looks like the cranes may also function or a single crane will function to be able to load and unload different containers for extra loot opportunities. Now, I don't know if it's going to be these. As you can see, these are completely new models and they do actually have a ladder you can climb up. And the ladder will get you up to here where you would be at, say, a little control room. So there's no other purpose of really going up there other than standing here and shooting down. So, I mean, I'm thinking these might be the ones you can use. But again, they these also have these cargo containers already attached to them. So maybe they won't be, although there are two other ones. So you, you, you just have to kind of, you know... We'll just have to wait and see which ones it is. But as you'll see, the cargo ship has this big old space that it'll come across and go through. And uh, if these do stay that way, there may be a way, another way of kind of jumping down onto cargo. But you'll see that this side pretty much stayed about the same as you would expect with the rails going past and coming through here. And uh, basically... You've got all that stuff hanging out. Then you've got the first fuse over here, as you would normally flip for the light switch there. And it looks like the puzzle probably will be changing. I mean, as of right now, this all seems to be about the same right here with the puzzle. And you also have the subway entrance, so I don't know if that will change. But it does look like a lot of loot will be changing on the opposite side here. So you, as, as you can see, this is pretty much kind of like Harbor got extended more. And you'll see there's this bridge, and I believe this bridge will actually go up and down depending whether or not cargo is here or it will open or something more or less. I, right now, as you can see, it's very much still a work in progress. But this bridge will be something that moves. So that'll be very exciting. Then over on this side, you've got quite a bit of pretty much everything new. And uh, got this little line of forklifts and various ships and so forth. And they all look like they're set up for loot. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do actually get loot set up on them. There's another kind of messed up tugboat over here. And then you have this big building. And as of right now, you can't get into it only up above. Again, looks like there is potential for a lot of loot up here. You can get from this building over to the other one. 
And then there's multiple zip lines here, and these zip lines have these really cool little stations, and it has like the little arrow to show you, oh, this is a zip line, you know? And you have this one here, and you have the one that goes on down to this side, which I think are quite cool. Then you have like a little patio area hanging out up here. There's a actual old poker table set up with a television and a couch that you can actually sit on. So yeah, you know, it's it's got a lot of changes. Another way up and down on this side. Definitely a nice expansion. I could see a lot more loot coming this direction. And as you can see, a lot of things aren't quite done yet. Yeah, you know, there's a floating door, a few other things that need some work. So this is still very much a rough idea, but now you can kind of see how cargo ship's gonna pull up to harbor and so forth. But that's gonna do it everybody. We'll be back as soon as we have some more stuff to show you. There's been quite a bit of work on the motorcycles, minigun, and the Bradley Scientist Squad and so forth. So I'm sure we'll probably have something to show to you guys pretty soon on those. As always, we'll bring it to you when we can. Thanks for watching, everyone, and stay rusty. Okay.